we're on base at our trailer today because you want to run the heater for a couple hours to I guess he, I think he said let it cure so um, we're gonna open up all the windows and just blast the heater and chill or maybe get food I don't know There we go. All right, so that's gonna use some of our propane for a couple hours. He said to disable the smoke detector. Um, hold on, that's not hot. Oh, we turned the... Wow. I'm a dummy. I forgot to turn the gas on. There we go. It's hot now. smell it out here. It smells like burning plastic. Yeah, that's the exhaust coming out over here. Woo! starter kit it's supposed to have our black sewage hose in it this is um, RV friendly toilet paper I guess it breaks down really easily uh, bio pouch I guess this is what you put in the chemical you put in your black tank two of those here's your uh, it's called a black hose, but ours is blue. This is where the poopy goes. And they give us a uh, fresh water hose. We'll show you this weekend, but it connects your city water to your RV. There's also this adapter here. On this side, you can plug your RV plug, power plug into it. And this is to your home. Or a, or a 110 outlet. I don't remember all from the dealer what you can run off of that, but you can probably at least charge your battery and run the interior lights. We finally get to go camping tomorrow for the whole weekend in our new RV. And I have some things to show you that we got recently from Amazon that should help our camping experience. These are chocks for the wheels. Basically it keeps your um, your RV from rolling when you're on unlevel ground. I think it'll also help with uh, rocking stability if you get it situated right. A, uh, a video we watched gave a tip and they said put your first chalk in and then roll your RV forward just a little bit to put some pressure on it. And it pulls the wheel off the ground a little bit and then put the back chalk in and then let it off and your wheel will be sitting cradled between these two with a lot of downward pressure and should keep it from moving at all. So we have four of those, two for each wheel. Next thing, uh, which was actually my only main requirement before we went camping, was a water pressure regulator because when you hook up to a camping site their pressure can be too much for your RV and it can blow out your hoses and fittings. So um, the RV dealer told us to go about 70 PSI. So this little gauge here will tell you what your PSI is currently being fed in. Uh, I think there's an arrow. So the water is going to go this way. They call it city water when you hook up to a site. There's a little filter here. 
So you're basically like hooking on a garden hose. It'll probably be like more like a spigot. So you're gonna hook on there. And this is a, a nicer adjustment where you can tell it what PSI you want it to be at. This one's kind of required, but not a must have. This is a water filter. So I think there's an arrow in here that shows the direction. Yeah, there's an arrow there, and I think there's a, yeah, another one here. So I'm gonna take it out, but it's the same thing. It's, a, it's a, like a garden hose fitting. So what you'll, what you'll do is you'll put the pressure regulator at the city water on the spigot, and then you'll run your hose all the way to here, right before the RV. And then this will hook on to this end, and this will actually plug into your RV there. And this just gives you a little bit of flexibility at the RV connection. So if you bump it while you're walking around, you're, you're not gonna be breaking something. And the box says what this filter's for is bad taste, odors, sediments, bacteria, chlorine, and much more. Here's a simulation we're gonna try. This is city water. It's my water pressure regulator. This is gonna be the RV without the filter. I'm gonna go turn the water on full right now and we'll see if we get any pressure. All right, so it looks like we're about 72. PSI. I think I'm turned all the way down too, which is strange. Yeah, I'm all the way down. So running pressure is 60, but stopping pressure is about 70, 72. So I'm going to open this all the way up. All right, that's full, open. Ah, okay, so I, I read it wrong. That's fully closed. And I'm getting a trickle. And I'm looking at about maybe two PSI. It's opening up. So about, I'm gonna put it at about 60. I'm gonna try to do 60 while it's closed because I read the water filter box and it said to set it at 60. That's running, but I would still wanna have maximum of 60 when no water's running. All right, that's pretty good to me. So, it's already set for camping as per the filter instructions at 60 PSI.